Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the shed. Uh, I'm Lonnie, and we are going to pull some eBay orders. I have, it's nighttime, which is kind of a weird time for me to be pulling orders, but I need to because uh, I'm going on a trip, going out of town for a couple days, and I want to get these packed and out and, uh, yeah, just get everything out that I can. It's not that much stuff anyways, but uh, anyways, I sold these three lots of wrestling DVDs in a private deal. So um, these are going out to Dwayne. Dwayne, thank you very much. Almost fell over. <laughs> Dwayne, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the DVDs. There's, there's a bunch of them here. But yeah, there's a total of 27 DVDs and... Um, like I said, it was a private deal, but it was a price where it was a win-win, I thought. Like, I was happy with the price, and I think he was too. So we both won out, and I got that amount of space back. So this is kind of cool. I sold, I just looked at this yesterday because I was over here looking for something on this shelf, and I noticed that I still had, well, for one thing, I still have these stupid Toy Story rabbit things. Then I saw this tank, I was like, can't believe that didn't sell i touched it and i'm telling you i touched it and within 12 hours it sold <laughs> and that's after being listed for all that time so i got uh it's not a huge sale 13.99 plus international shipping this is this will be going simple export rate and the other thing i sold was this uh key fob set and i put a bunch of stuff on a 10 percent sale this is part of it so sold for $62.99 plus shipping on top. So that is everything that I've sold today that needs to go out. And now, before I even pack that, um, I'm going, this is, I'll already be back by the time this airs, but I'm gonna be out of town Thursday and Friday. So I'm gonna go into all three of my stores real quick and edit handling times, bulk edit handling times on everything to reflect like, uh, let's see if they bought, I think I would do, I'm just gonna do three day handling just to cover it. And then um, I'll, I'll be back Friday night so I can just edit it back on Friday night or Saturday morning when I get home. So uh, let's do that real quick. Okay, so we're in the back end of my second store, which is called actually Garage Flips. And uh, I'm on the selling list. This is the active listings thing. And I'm just gonna click here Actually, I don't even think I have to do that, but the key is to edit all 245 listings. And all I'm gonna do, since I'm gonna be back to ship on Monday, I'm not gonna vacation mode or anything like that. I'm just gonna bulk edit handling times. And it just pulled them all up here. And I'll click this to make sure it applies to all the listings that I pulled in. And then I just have to edit fields and handling time right here. Change to, three day, save and close. And then it's going to go through this thing here, which I'll fast forward. Okay, so now it's put that change into all these listings, but all it's done so far is edit them. It hasn't like saved them. So now to actually make it take uh, and, and actually change it on the live listings, you hit submit changes. And then it'll say confirm and submit. And then it's going to go through this thing again. So we'll fast forward that again. Okay, 245 listings were submitted successfully. So there, that's it. I'm covered for handling time on my second store. And I'll just repeat the process on my main store. And then on uh, my second store, or my third store, I should say and then I'll be all set uh, for any new orders that come in. Well, I got those three packed right here, and um, I got another order, I had another order come in while I was packing them, and it was an easy order, so I'm like, you know what? It has three-day handling, but I'll go ahead, since I'm already working in here, I'll go ahead and uh, ship it. So this is Legend of Oz, Wicked West comic books. It's a lot of, I think, six books here. Are five, five books? Yeah, five books, sorry. 
uh, $15.99 plus shipping on top for those. Okay, I have one more order come in, and then I'm going to call it a night. This is a fast one, though. Uh, let's see. I need volume 10. I sold a Superbook Explorer, of all things. And it's number, what did I say, 10, right? Supposedly sealed. In the beginning, Jacob and Esau. Yep, and that is sealed. So I got... $13.99 free shipping on this and this is such an easy pack I don't mind doing it right now well got some of these right here but yeah um, that's gonna be it oh uh, I did see one question I'm not gonna pull up the little um, the image or whatever somebody asked about uh, first class international package or international International package, first class. I can't remember what you call it. But uh, they asked about the weight of those packages. And um, domestic, in the United States, domestic first class package, um, if you print your own postage or commercial commercial rate, is 16 ounces max. If you buy the postage at the counter in the post office, it's 13 ounces. But international first class package, uh, it can go up to four pounds. Uh, is the max as far as I know. So it's a whole different, like it can be four times heavier than domestic first class package. Good morning and welcome back to the shed. It's been a few days, I know, since I've uploaded. But uh, yeah, we uh, went on a trip to Houston Space Center. It was actually a field trip with my youngest daughter's class. And uh, I mean, it was fun. They chartered buses. We got hotels. Um, we spent all day out at the uh, Space Center. It was just a ton of fun and a really good field trip, really cool. So that was a that was like two days. And then I took yesterday off entirely. And then I'm taking most of the day off too. Today is uh, Candace and I's anniversary. We're gonna go eat some expensive steaks tonight. But I did wanna come out to the shed and work for a few hours right now. Um, we did get, I took yesterday off, but we did get, uh y'all if y'all saw the last video these knives these box knives box cutter knives whatever um these are the ones that i have going out they actually sold within about three and a half hours i sold all of them i only had 84 seven dozen to sell for the first run um and they sold really fast. I thought they would sell fast, but they sold even faster than I thought. So thank you to everyone that bought one. Uh, if you didn't get one and you wanted one, I'm going to have a lot more this week. Um, and I hope to keep, to be able to here on out, keep enough in stock to where I'm never out. That's my goal anyways. Um, but yeah, these are, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. Um, we actually put, cut out and put all the stickers on each knife last night so these are ready to go uh just need to print labels and pack and whatnot and uh yeah i'll get these out i thought i was going to get them out on monday but i forgot monday is uh tomorrow is actually a uh postal holiday so they'll be going out on tuesday but i figured i'd come out and go ahead and get these ready to go um as far as these little stickers go that go on it uh I actually printed them myself for this first run and well, those are some extras. These are some where the tape job didn't work out all that well. Um, but what I did, I printed on this Avery sticker paper. And uh, then I taped over it with just packing tape. And then we cut them out. Candace helped. And we, we cut out all the ovals and stuck them on the knives. So uh, that actually took a little more time than you might think. <laughs> Whenever you do it like eight, 84 of them, it just takes a while. But uh, yeah, I have a lot more knives coming in this week. I would imagine probably Wednesday, Thursday, they'll come in. Um, I have a bunch of stickers getting printed. I'm actually, I'm not gonna do this again. Um, it was good for the first run, but you know, moving forward, I'm gonna have like the stickers printed and cut and then I just have to stick them on there. So it's a little faster. So uh, yeah, it's fun. I need to get these labels printed though. So this is the really cool thing um, about, like I use Big Cartel because it's cheap, 10 bucks a month, plus it's easy. This is not paid sponsorship or anything. They they don't, I, I've never talked to them and said, hey, I have a YouTube channel or anything. 
but a uh, big cartel and pirate ship you can add big cartel as an integration and i've gone through i have a few that need like address corrections and whatnot so i'm printing right now 75 labels and i just hit import and they it just brings them all in and then i checked them all off and get rates for 75 labels and i'll just punch in like I'll double check, but I'll just put in a six by six by six size. And then I believe, uh, let me double check. Okay, yeah, I just put in six, 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 seven ounces for the weight. And then I put in some customs information because a few of them are going out to Canada. And I click on get rates and it's going to, it's getting all the rates for all the labels because it's going to be calculated, first class package. So they're all going to be different. Um, and then I have, yeah, I have three. They're going to Canada at $8.95 a piece. And then I have 72 that are going first class package for $3.34 a piece on average. So I'm going to buy these labels and it's going to be $267.15 for this run of labels. I'll just click on buy. And hopefully it's not going to. I mean, I'm just using a credit card here, so shouldn't be a problem. And then at that point, I sh I'll be able to print all the labels. It it really couldn't be any easier. I'd, I've used this same method whenever I was shipping all those mugs um, last year. I think the last run I sold like 600 mugs or something. <laughs> so it looks like it looks like all the labels are bought. And those of you that provided email information uh should have gotten your um your tracking information just now now i'm going to click on print make sure i have the right printer no i do not have the right printer i had the the epson selected that wouldn't have been good and boom now they're printing should be 72 of these suckers coming out That is 75 uh, labels. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to be it. I've got my work cut out, packing all this stuff up and uh, getting them out there. And yeah, I will see y'all again soon. Thank you very much for watching.